The drama behind the scenes of your favorite television show can sometimes be more exciting than the storylines on screen. The industry summons large egos, which frequently cause serious disputes, even on top-rated TV shows that make both the network and producers a lot of money. Because of this, actors are often fired from sets for their behavior. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 such instances. Let's dive right in. Starting off at number 10, we have Valerie Harper. It's impossible to fire an actor whose name is also the title of the show, right? Actually, as it turns out, it isn't. Valerie Harper was fired from her own show called Valerie in one of the strangest incidents in television history. Supposedly, issues arose during contract negotiations about salary. They killed her off, replaced her with Sandy Duncan, and rebooted Valerie's family. It was renamed The Hogan Family, giving the sitcom five more seasons. Harper spoke about her dismissal, claiming that she didn't even ask for a raise and that the disagreement was over other benefits that were to be determined later. She also claimed that the show wanted to prevent her from having creative input into the production, which they categorically denied. She later sued the production company, won her lawsuit against the network, and was awarded approximately $2 million in damages. Next up, at number 9, we have Charlie Sheen. In 2011, Charlie Sheen went wild, claiming to have tiger blood coursing through his veins. Sheen inexplicably turned against Chuck Lorre, the creator of Two and a Half Men, who was responsible for Sheen's biggest paychecks of his career. The famous actor slammed Lorre in angry tweets and scathing interviews, calling him a maggot and making anti-Semitic remarks about him. Sheen then embarked on a publicity tour in which he abandoned his family, tweeted and talked obsessively about winning and lived with multiple girlfriends at a time. Lori halted production on season 8 of Two and a Half Men following Sheen's outburst. Creators decided to fire Sheen and kill off his character. Off screen, Sheen's character was hit by a train in the season 9 premiere. Later, Ashton Kutcher was brought in for the final seasons of the hit show. We were unable to perform your duties. They ah. cited erratic behavior nah. and derogatory public comments Lies. about the show. You Lies. claim. Moving on at number 8, we have Maggie Roswell. You may not recognize the name Maggie Roswell, but you are likely familiar with her work as the voice of The Simpsons' Maude Flanders. According to the producers, Roswell left the show because she no longer wanted to commute to Los Angeles from her home in Denver. But that's not what Roswell stated in an interview, where she claimed she was fired for wanting a raise. Roswell was paid $1,200 to $2,000 per episode by Fox, and she wanted a raise to $6,000 per episode. Fox offered her a $150 per episode raise, which she considered insulting. She said that the raise didn't even cover the cost of her having to fly to Los Angeles to record her parts of the show's script. Providing a path of self-sufficiency for female veterans and homeless mothers through health care, education, and career opportunities. Next in line at number 7, we have Dominic Monaghan. Although Lost star Dominic Monaghan claimed that he wasn't upset about being killed off of the show, he did offer a critique of TV's top-rated show at the time. He said that it's a big cast, and actors don't get to work as much as they'd like, adding that people get bored, frustrated, lazy, and their work suffers. Monaghan admitted to being bossy and trying to boss the writers around. He said that he'd always try to convince the writers that his character Charlie was a great character and that he didn't want to see his character neutered. Monaghan's exit had more to it than was revealed. Apparently, Monaghan was bitter and upset that his five-year relationship with co-star Evangeline Lilly ceased when she moved on. Monaghan was known for speaking out of turn, once tweeting that co-star Matthew Fox beats women. Moving forward at number six, we have Nicolette Sheridan. Behind the scenes, Desperate Housewives was an infamously dramatic show. Nicolette Sheridan, of all the divas, may have been the greatest. Sheridan was constantly fighting with the show's creator. Creator Mark Cherry. Sheridan's character, Edie Britt, was killed off in 2009, prompting Sheridan to file a wrongful termination lawsuit against Cherry and Touchstone Television. She even said that Cherry had hit her head and fired her out of retaliation for her speaking out, which Cherry denied, saying it was just the demonstration of a scene. After going to trial, it was revealed that Britt's death was already in the plan for months. Grateful to, to Mark Pedowitz and David Stapp and to, um, and to everybody who, who understands why, why I left the show. He claimed that Sheridan's dismissal was motivated more by creative and financial concerns, but that her unprofessional attitude also influenced the decision. Sheridan clashed with the cast and crew and was accused of being disrespectful to everyone. We're halfway through. Now to our top five picks. Swooping in at number five, we have Thomas Gibson. Thomas Gibson was a regular on CBS's serial killer drama Criminal Minds. Gibson was fired after yelling at set writers and crew members, and it didn't end there, as he was initially sentenced to anger management classes after punching an assistant director in 2010. 
According to sources, Gibson was aggressive and verbally abusive on the set of the show for years. According to other reports, Gibson didn't get along with co-star Shamar Moore, arguing about scheduling and screen time. Six years after CBS sent Gibson to anger management classes, he retaliated by kicking the series co-executive producer and writer Virgil Williams during a heated argument over the script. Gibson was initially suspended for two episodes, but the producers and network decided it would be better to fire him. Next up, at number four, we have Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty brought a lot of attitude to her role on Beverly Hills 90210, which eventually led to her firing for constantly fighting with the cast and crew. Doherty made a comeback, returning to television in 1998 with Charmed. Doherty was older, but she wasn't necessarily wiser, as evidenced by her constant bickering with co-star Alyssa Milano. The rumored feud between the actresses allegedly resulted in the death of Doherty's character Prue. In an interview, Milano discussed the conflicts on set, telling host Andy Cohen they were best friends before the show, though there were some rough days. Doherty admitted that there was a lot of negativity and tension on the set. She said that there was too much drama and not enough passion for work on set, adding that she misses Holly and that there were never problems between them. We're finally in the top three. At number three, we have Misha Barton. Misha Barton rose to fame as Marissa Cooper on The O.C., but fans were surprised when the character was killed in a car accident during season three. The decision to kill her character was motivated by personality conflicts as much as by creative direction. The showrunners were fed up with Barton's spoiled and bad behavior. Barton reportedly thought she was too good for working in television and would rather become a movie star. With the likes of Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan, and Paris Hilton, Barton became part of a crowd known more for their hard partying than their work. Barton, in recent interviews, has shown remorse over her past, saying she's seen it all and reminding herself to be grateful. And then it's a lot about us interacting together, so we'll see what ends up in the show, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not really the person to tell you how they edit it together, yeah. but... <laughs> For our runner-up at number two, Jay Thomas. People sometimes forget that Jay Thomas appeared frequently on Cheers as hockey player Eddie LeBeck. Thomas was fired after disparaging his co-star Rhea Perlman. Carla Tortelli, played by Perlman, was married to Thomas's character. A caller inquired about working on the show while Thomas was moonlighting as a morning DJ at a Los Angeles radio station. Instead of politely telling the caller that Cheers was a fantastic opportunity, Thomas allegedly began to complain about kissing Perlman. It's rumored that Perlman heard it then on the radio, and Thomas was fired right after this incident incident occurred. His character was killed off in the show. Perlman was avenged when Thomas's character was killed by a Zamboni machine. Taking the top spot on our list, at number one, we have Patrick Dempsey. Fans of Grey's Anatomy have yet to forgive Rhymes for killing off fan favorite Patrick Dempsey, aka McDreamy, in a car accident during the season 11 finale in 2015. Supposedly, Dempsey was crying behind the scenes, and Rhymes was sick of his attitude. Initially, Rhymes and Dempsey both stated that they had no bad blood, but details of his exile began to leak from the set. Online sources claimed that Dempsey was cheating on his wife with a Grey's Anatomy production assistant, a rumor that Dempsey later seemed to confirm by divorcing his wife. According to a source, Dempsey was also nagging about his character's storyline and felt like he wasn't getting enough screen time. To, to be a part of uh, this shoot, is, it's like a dream come true. Actors are advised not to cross Shonda Rhimes. When asked if she'd ever killed a character on the show because she didn't like the actor, Rhimes replied saying yes and that she was not going to be naming any names. But we all know who she was talking about, right? That's a wrap for this video. Were you surprised when you found out about these celebrities? Did we miss any out? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.